hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are feeling the fall vibes like i am living for this look i'm so excited you guys know that this is my favorite time of the year and it's back to school season so i wanted to do a super glam makeup look i did a very natural subtle one so if you want to see it i'll include a card here so you can go watch it but in today's video i wanted to give you some glam inspiration for the fall time and i also teamed up with neutrogena to show you this flawless base on how to cover up acne but not only cover up, take care of your skin. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thank you again to Neutrogena for collaborating with me. And if you want to see how I got this pumpkin spice latte look, then let's go ahead and get started. I already went in and did my skincare routine, so I'm gonna start off by priming my skin. Today I'm using the Porefessional Pearl Primer, and this is by Benefit. This is a pore minimizing primer, and it's also going to help my makeup go on a lot smoother. So I'm going to focus this on my T-zone because that's mainly where I get oily. As you guys can tell, it has not been a good month for my skin, let me tell you, but it's okay, because you know what? Everybody goes through it, and that's the whole point of this video. I wanna show you ways that you can cover up your skin, but still protect and take care of those acne spots so I'm gonna start off by spot concealing these little spots on the right side of my face I'm using my Neutrogena skin clearing blemish concealer and this is mainly just to focus on those spots that you want to cover up before your foundation I don't recommend using this under your eyes just because it is a little bit more on the drier side so all you want to do is twist up the cap and then literally just place it on the little spots that you want to cover up and the cool thing about about this concealer is that it has salicylic acid so it's not only going to cover up your pimples it's going to help heal them for foundation I'm going in with the Neutrogena skin clearing oil-free makeup and this is a blemish treatment with salicylic acid I like that it covered everything so nicely and even but it doesn't feel heavy or cakey so that's like the number one thing that I always look out for so foundation is on I'm gonna go in with concealer today I'm using my Too Faced multi-use concealer and I'm using it in the shade natural beige I'm just gonna go in and apply this under my eyes a little bit on my t-zone and blend that in with my beauty blender once you find a good routine that works for you let me tell you you your base is going to be on point and this full routine that I'm showing you guys today it's long lasting it does increase it doesn't move and it's going to look great in photos as well so let's go in and uh, set this face I took a quick break to go make some coffee I was on a coffee break for maybe like three weeks and I gave up I was like I need coffee in my life so just made my good old Dunkin Donuts so oh, I'm so happy back to the makeup tutorial so i'm gonna go in and fill in my brows i just wiped them off a little bit with a tissue because i did have some foundation over them so i'm taking my anastasia beverly hills brow Wiz in dark brown and i'm lightly going to fill them in this step i usually just do quickly just because i know my brow shape and i know how i like it i feel like everybody is different but if i was to recommend one brow pencil that just gets the job done and is long lasting i would highly recommend this one i've been using it for so long and it's still like my ride or die i don't know why but foundation lips just bother me so much as soon as i'm done with my foundation the first thing i do is wipe off my brows and wipe off my lips just because i feel like ugh, every time i look at it i'm just like no now that my brows are on point i'm gonna go in and set my face today i'm using this neutrogena skin clearing mineral powder and i'm using it in the shade nude 40 this is an oil absorbing powder so it helps control shine and it's going to keep your face matte throughout the day so i'm just using a powder brush and i'm going to lightly press this all over my face and this is a very lightweight powder so it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't make your skin feel cakey or anything so it also comes with this little sponge right here so you can carry this in your purse and use it to blot throughout the day so that's a really good tip especially if you're going to school or you're going to work and you have a really long day ahead of you that's a must if you have oily skin. I'm going in with my Hula Bronzer by Benefit and I'm going to lightly define the hollows of my cheekbones. My face is looking really flat right now so we need to add a little bit of definition and structure. So I'm applying this on the hollows of my cheekbones, on the sides of my forehead, down my jawline and on the sides of my nose. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm using my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I'm just going to apply this on my lids and then blend it in with my finger. So today we're using one of my favorite palettes. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run. Ooh, run. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
<laughs> almost almost i caught it on time urban decay born to run eyeshadow palette and this is the look that i created right here so we're just going to recreate it on my right eye i'm going to go ahead and take double life which is this beautiful coppery metallic shade and i'm going to pack this on on the inner parts of my eyelid with this flat brush i'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow which is good as gone and I'm going to pack this on the outer parts of my eyelids. I know it's looking a little crazy right now, so we're gonna go in and diffuse that color. I'm taking my Morphe R39 brush, and I'm gonna start off with the color on the outer parts of my crease, and I'm just lightly blending this shade. I'm just gonna diffuse it so it looks a little bit smoky and well blended. highlight the inner corners of my eyes i'm taking breakaway which is this shade right here and i'm going to pop this right in the inner corners of my eyes by the way you guys this is a really nice color to like open up the eyes and to highlight the brow bone so i'm just bringing that color upwards and blending that in with the crease so pretty i'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of that eyeliner to my waterline I'm taking that same dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just blending that under my lower lashes. I'm going to go ahead and apply one coat to my upper and my lower lashes and then I'm going to pop on my falsies. My lash is currently drying so I'm going to go in and apply a little bit of blush and highlight. I'm taking this Too Faced Sugar Peach Face and Eyeshadow Palette. This smells amazing, you guys. As soon as I took it out of the box, I was like, oh my God, you can smell this. So I'm taking a little bit of Peach Pop and my Duo Fiber Brush, and I'm going to pop this right on the apples of my cheeks. For highlight, I'm taking Peach Pearl, and I'm just going to apply this down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the highest points of my face. Off. To finish off the look, I'm going in with my KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude 1. And then for lipstick, I'm using this Patrick Star and MAC Liquid Lipstick in Ultimate Diva. This lipstick just ties the entire look together. I am loving it. This is like super fall. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am loving how this turned out. The base, the eye makeup, the lips, everything is on point. And I hope you guys found some new helpful tips, some new products you might want to try out. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Bye!